Hey guys, I'm Crazy Fox 105 here. Today, I will be making a tutorial how to turn on developer mode on your Chromebook. And um, this, um, and I have a really cool trick how, like how I got like system location stuff. I don't know what happened, like my data erased and everything. So I'm gonna do it right now. So hold down the um, esc ref, um, refresh, um, the escape button, esc refresh, the refresh button, and the power button. So this, this. And then after I'm gonna press those two, and then I'm gonna press the power button. The Chromebook will turn off, and then just wait a few seconds, and and this should pop up. It will show. Just wait for it. Here it's coming. And as you can see, um, here it will say this. This don't panic or anything. This don't panic on the sign. Hit uh, Control D. Like, that's weird because, like, when I hit control D, it doesn't work. Why? I got an idea. Let me press the power button. I got an idea. Maybe if I do something, and then after I'll try it. Let me see if it works. Don't know why it's not letting me press control D, but I think I got a solution. But if you guys do have a Chromebook, just if you guys want to get like FNAF, FNAF or anything like that, and like, like, cause um, if you have, you can go like, switch to the beta, but you don't really have to, cause you can just go on the um, download like an APK file, and it actually can have it. So like a Chromebook isn't like a PC, so you can't download like PC games. I wish you can, but sadly you can't. I'll be right back when I get to the thing. Okay, guys, I'm gonna do this. Space to re enable it. Here, okay, she's Just enter to confirm it. Verification things on. Okay, so now my thing is we're re rebooting. So, like, your Chromebook will reboot. Like, if you have any important, like, things on there, I recommend you keep your Chromebook how it is. So, yeah. So don't reboot your Chromebook unless you really want to um, go to developer mode and get um, all the stuff. That's if you really want to. But, ah. See, it will go on. It would just say Chrome, I guess. Um, oh yeah, it did restart. Um, then it will um, say welcome. And I have my mouse chip plugged in. It's my wi wireless mouse. So yeah, guys. And by the way, inside my cove, this is my desk. Everyone knows. I, I use my... Um, I don't want to use my screen recorder. Then it's like a shutdown of the computer. So I use my phone for recording. Anyways, it's just... Chris, let's go. Okay, guys, I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi real quick. So I'll be right back. Once you're connected to your Wi-Fi, it will say Google Chrome OS. So make sure... If you guys do know your Wi-Fi password, make sure... You know it. Unless you have like a paper or something, you need to um bring it to you. So yeah, this, the Wi-Fi thing is very important. Um, um, this press uh, accept and continue. I already know all this stuff. Um, and now I shall sign into my account. So I'll be right back. Once you have signed into your account, hit next. Right here, guys. Hit next. And yeah, you will be be um loading in. Make sure you log in first before you do anything. Now, guys, um, if you go on like your settings, mine's different than your guys. If you guys have it, like, my if you, I'm gonna go to like my uh, here about Chrome OS, all that stuff. The channel is currently on beta, but mm, what if I? Uh, I got an idea. What if I switch it to developer mode? Then I can switch. Go to develop mode. Let me see, you guys. I'm gonna s s do this. New channel. I want to be developer mode. Okay, change channel. All done. Now the S refresh and power button. There we go. Now it shall load. Now, once it's unloading, you're gonna have to press Control D. Yeah, it does work. 
Oh, I was, I was right. You have to switch to developer in order to get to developer mode. But it's unstable when you get to developer mode. Now I'm going to make it read stable. Uh, now it says press enter. There you go. Then make sure to press enter. This will reboot it again even though you already rebooted it. You just need to, um, at first, always put it on develop. You need to put it on developer stable before you do the ESCA fresh thing. Here it is. Now, when you get to this thing, don't worry about this. Hit Control D. And let me see if it's on developer mode. I really hope it is. And it says, this is your, um, your system is translating to developer mode. Local data has been cleared. Mo modifications um, you make to the system are not supported by Google. May cause hardware issues. May void w warranty. To cancel, turn your computer off. So yeah, if you guys want to cancel it, turn your computer off. But my thing is going to be um, re um, doing all this. And I will be... Um, oh, actually, I was about to pause the video. Uh, yeah, I'm about to pause the video. And um, I'll be back when this is done loading. Still taking forever and ever and ever and ever. It's taking forever. It's taking forever. Literally, literally. It's taking forever. To load. Forever still, still taking forever. My computer's taking over for load. Never mind. It's done. Control D. Control it D. Yeah, guys, it loaded. I'll be back after all this stuff. Okay, guys, it's um loading and um, yeah. Here you guys are, and two. Well, you got developer mode now. Is the channel still on beta? I bet you the channel's still on beta. See that? Just look at that. Hey, my wallpaper's back, yay. Is my file still here? Here, I'm just gonna check out an app, ABK. <laughs> I mean, here we have developer mode on, so here it is, Final Fantasy Freddy's. Download Five Nights at Freddy's. Yes. So yeah, guys, break it, go ahead, right here, and download the game. Download the game. Wait, sorry, guys, I have to leave, bye.